we do appreciate and uh, understand that tax is a very technical subject and therefore we needed to reach out to you the media so that through you you can continue to educate the public on what has changed and what other privileges are there as you are aware the government has provided a lot of benefits to Malawians, businesses and indeed individuals. So we needed to communicate these changes, these benefits to the Malawians. As you are aware, government has uh, uh, reduced the pay from 30% to 25% for those that are earning below 1 million. Uh, Cross-border traders that now import goods into the country with uh, and US dollars without payment of import duty and there is a duty free week and many other good things that the government has done to its people and we need to communicate this because when the people are aware of these measures they will take advantage of them they will exploit those advantages and that's what we want uh, maybe uh, how much is the danger if the reporters or journalists don't understand these issues they will create confusion and fear just like as you are aware on the advanced income tax people thought you would pay tax before the goods arrive at the border which is a complete lie the truth of the matter is that with the advanced income tax only those that are not compliant are the one that will have to pay advanced income tax at the rate of three percent of the value of the goods so if you are a business operating in malawi and you are compliant and you have a tax case certificate, you will not pay the advanced income tax. If you are just an individual importing goods for personal use, you also not pay the advanced income tax. So the advanced income tax is only for those that are not compliant. And this is one way of bringing them into the tax net. Because when you look at it, there are so many people that are paying taxes that are working in government and indeed in private sector those that are earning 300,000, 400,000. And yet there are so many small businesses that are earning above 1 million but not paying any taxes. So this advanced income tax is to bring all these people into the tax net so that together we can develop our country through payment of taxes. What is MRA doing in terms of sensitizing the general public as regards the new changes that have come in the national budget, especially the duty free week? Uh, besides the meeting with the, the members of the media, we will have aggressive tax education, especially once the government has announced the date, so that uh, members of uh, the, uh, the media as well as the public are able to know what procedures to take when for them to enjoy the duty-free week. So we are going to have a very robust media engagement, a very robust public engagement and very uh, robust uh, civic education so that people are aware of what they are supposed to do. What we currently want them to know is that they need to register. They need to have a tip-in for them to access this. But at the same time, they need to make sure that when they are importing the goods, the goods should not be above 3,000 US dollars. If anything, if the goods are above that, then they will have to pay tax. At the same time, uh, we will only allow one person to enjoy the duty-free once. Because we are using a tip-in, we will be able to follow that you have already imported once and then you cannot enjoy it twice or thrice. So the duty-free week is there, it's coming, and the Malawi Revenue Authority, we are ready and we will engage more once the government has published and gazetted the debt. Where are we on the 30% pay reduction? Because we know it's not been implemented yet, and what would be the implication to the taxpayer and government? Will they be done in a All measures to do with the Taxation Act as well as the VAT Act have not been implemented. We are waiting for the operationalizing of the law, and which is the gazetting of the acts. So once the acts have been gazetted, then the PE as well as all other changes will be implemented. Uh, we, we will look at what the law says and then we'll advise whether there will be arrears or not. The Receipt Langa campaign is uh, continue and it is there and we want the public to continue to enjoy. We have witnessed that there are more and more uh, buyers that are coming to MRA reporting uh, that they have not been given an EFD receipt and we are giving them 40,000 cash on the spot. 
So we would like to urge the public to continue reports to MRA if you have not been given a receipt and you'll be given 40,000 kwacha cash. As I'm speaking now, over 600 buyers have reported to us and we have given out over 23 million kwacha to the public. So you can actually see that there is overwhelming support from the public in terms of reporting those that are, uh, are not issuing EFD receipt. It is a requirement that each and every business that is registered for tax should be issuing an EFD receipt. I'm feeling that the, the GDP is going to be a loss on your part. I don't know, what, what do you, how do you react to such assessments and what do you intend to achieve in the long run? The duty-free week is not a loss for government. It is actually an investment because the ones that are going to benefit are the ones that will have already registered with the Malawi Revenue Authority. And the government wants them to boost their business. So imagine government is, will be giving out 3,000 US dollars to each and every business that will take advantage of that week. So that's an investment that government is, is making. Because as far as Malawi Revenue Authority is concerned, we are collecting more revenue uh, from domestic taxes than customs. 65, over 65% 65 of our taxes are collected from domestic taxes, while uh, 35 or so are collected from customs. So what we are doing under the duty-free week is to encourage business to do better. If they do better, they will now be able to pay domestic taxes. So on one hand, we are uh, releasing them from the burden of paying customs, and on one hand, allowing them to uh, boost their business, and they will be coming now voluntarily to pay pay VAT income tax, which will be much more than uh, what government uh, may be considered as to have lost through the duty-free week. So the duty-free week should be perceived as an investment to the small and medium businesses so that they can do better and begin to pay even more taxes now and in future.